or 400. If you're a player and need to pinpoint exactly what's wrong with your performance, Danny Turley will be able to tell you. Turley has worked with the top Gaelic football teams in Ulster, like Cross McGlen and the Armagh senior squad, providing managers with detailed notes about players and identifying the strengths and weaknesses in their game. Linfield were so impressed with his work that they've asked him to come on board at the academy at Windsor Park. The players see it as a, a positive influence and that, okay, if there's something going wrong, the coach is there to help you. And by looking at the video and, and actually seeing it is believing. And that's a big thing that, you know, other coaches we've worked with is a seeing is a believing factor. You know, you might show someone a piece of pen and paper and then totally dismiss it. Or, you know, there's a lot of research in America in that you can only call up the 30% of key performance factors from a live game. So that other 70% is going kind to of miss it. And with performance sports, we can track all that data and that should provide evidence for the coach and for the player to realise, you know, there's a trend going on here, something I didn't see, because it's very easy to forget things, but this is just that constant reminder and it's, it's displayed in a, you know, a very visual graphic, uh, so it's much easier for the coach and the player to take that information in. But will the young players find it daunting to be scrutinised like this? 15-year-old Jamal Dupree believes it'll help him develop his game. Not every club will have this technology and obviously the older players didn't have this technology at my age and I think that we'll see a big difference whenever we are around their age and our performances and how we've improved over the years. Senior squad member Matthew Tipton says the young ones can only benefit from this technology. It'll definitely be good for them in the long run. It's how they uh, embrace that initially. You know, it's going to be hard. Everybody, nobody likes being told they've done something wrong, um, especially when you when you're younger, you know, you, you feel like everybody's having a go at you. But if they can embrace it and if the parents can embrace it, you know, and then they use it in the right way and the right manner, um, I think it's a fantastic tool to use. How do you think the senior players will react to it? I think we're all sensible and professional enough now to know that, that this is, you know, part of the game, um, that we have to look at our own performances. Um, you know, it's something we do anyway. Um, but now when, when it's a little bit more analysis on it, there's no hiding place now, if you like. Um, you know, I've been exposed to it before and sometimes you think you're kind of getting away with it. And with this analysis now, you, you're definitely not. Everything's scrutinised. Well, the Linfield Academy coaching staff are taking the new technology on board and they hope to use it to full effect with the under-17s at the San Marino International Tournament next July. Denise Watson, BBC Newsline, Linfield.